Well, good Monday morning to you. It is a beautiful day, and last night, Mother Nature was so kind enough as to provide me with an early morning cardio workout. Have a look around. Yes, indeed. An early morning cardio. Well, early morning for me, because I slept in. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'm going to get out now, break out the shovel, and this is actually one of my favorite forms of cardio. As crazy as it is, I would much rather spend an hour shoveling the driveway than going to the gym and spending an hour spinning my wheels on a treadmill or an elliptical or something like that. Like I say, you get fresh air, it's fun, and I get I get the satisfaction of actually doing the driveway, and then I get the the pride of, of my wife afterwards when she can say, hey, you did a good job, so I earned points for her good books as well. So I'm going to jump right to it now with my... Great Canadian Cardio Workout. I hope you enjoyed that little video clip. It was a bit of fun putting it together. But one of my goals for 2017, one of my training priorities, I should say, is to focus more on daily cardio as well as daily stretching. And, I mean, this is something that I have been doing all along. But I want to emphasize it more in my training to help increase my work capacity, to help burn off a bit of excess body fat, as well as to improve my mobility. I mean, as you get older, mobility and flexibility, agility, all that kind of stuff uh, plays a bigger role. I want to be more agile, uh, more flexible, more nimble, and hopefully <laughs> prevent injury. So that's one of my main focuses for 2017. So I'm just going to take you through a simple stretching routine that I like to do on a regular basis. And these are some stretches that I used to do uh, back when I was training in martial arts. I mean, before I got into serious bodybuilding training, I did uh, martial arts uh, for five years. I was studying Shaolin Kung Fu. That's what I was doing. So these are some of the stretches that I used to do a lot of when I was involved with Kung Fu. And I find that, you know, they just help to uh, increase flexibility, mobility, agility, all that kind of stuff. And it feels good. I mean, when you get into a regular pattern of consistent stretching, it's, it's kind of like a form of active meditation. I mean, I am a big believer in, in things like this, you know, these alternative therapies, if you will, meditation, relaxation, and, and, and stuff like that. And I find that stretching is a great addition to your training program. So that's my, my main priority, if you will, my, my habit that I want to create for 2017 is a habit of daily cardio, no matter what. Uh, it could be you know, going for a walk. It could be cardio at the gym. It could be shuffling the driveway in the wintertime, mowing the lawn in the summertime, but some form of cardiovascular exercise on a daily basis, along with this simple stretching routine just to help to increase my mobility and flexibility and all that stuff. So that's why I'm really emphasizing cardio, stretching, and weight training to get that whole trifecta and to just maximize my overall health and fitness level. 
So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you would like to get some more videos showing uh, specific stretches that you can do after each of your body part workouts, I have a full stretching playlist uh, where I cover specific post-workout stretches that you could do. And if you want to check that out, I'll have a link to it in the video description below. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below, and I'll chat with you down there. And in the meantime, have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Take care, over and out.